Thank you, uh, Mr. Lord Mayor. Thank you very much. As uh, President of the Society, it's a delight that you were, uh, and, your, and the Lady Mayoress, were able to, um, to find time in your very busy schedule. You, you, this is probably one of 400 or 500 <laughs> or 600 events, so we are uh, very privileged that you've been able to uh, d d d donate your time uh, tonight. Now, this, um, this exhibition is the result of a determination to properly celebrate the distinguished history of the society and uh, uh, many people over the generations who have made such valuable contributions to the society. Um, and it's, always, it's, it's a bit of a golden rule that you shouldn't break, but I am. Uh, I am going to name names. Uh, forgive me if I forget anyone. But I think we should pay special thanks to, to Steve Howe, Andy Kendall, uh, Steve Nottingham, and Mike Dean. Um, the Society was able to benefit from Steve Howe's experience, having worked for many years in the National Museum, and also uh, from the help from his ex-colleagues um, in assembling the exhibits. Uh, equally, Andy, uh, who worked uh, who also worked in the National Museum for many years. Uh, no, it says many years ago. So <laughs> <laughs> perhaps both. Uh, uh, was able to bring his computer expertise to uh, the project. So thank you very much. Uh, now you've heard how long the Society has been um, in existence and uh, the Lord Mayor has made reference to the astonishing changes in society and in the world in, in, in 100 and uh, 150 years. But throughout that time, the Society has been observing, recording, uh, and publishing. And uh, the Society has made perhaps a very significant contribution uh, to, uh, to the science. And we continue now with our supportive scholarship by awarding the annual Biosciences uh, uh, Prize. I also looked at the camera uh, out there. And again, it's staggering that a tiny camera like this has more power uh, and, and memory and uh, ability than that, that huge chunk of uh, uh, wood and, uh, uh, and metal. So it is also important to note that this is the first of a series of events marking the anniversary. Uh, next week is the AGM on the 11th in the Metropolitan University, which will mark exactly 150 years since the first annual meeting in 1867 and um, details of uh, some of the behind the scenes work that led to today's exhibition might well be revealed. Then um, on Thursday the 5th of October there's a lecture by Yolo Williams, uh, one of the finest naturalists in the country and his series Great Welsh Parks is currently being broadcast. Uh, the venue is Reardon Smith Lecture Theatre in the National Museum and tickets are available uh, via their web page or via ticket line and there's leaflets spread around the, the tables. So please grab, grab a leaflet. Now I know we've got some honoured guests from the National Museum here so I hope they don't mind me mentioning that we as a society uh, uh, preceded the creation of the uh, uh, of the National Museum, and we were very, uh, very pleased uh, uh, to see them uh, uh, expand and grow. That's great. So, uh, but we do have a warm feeling of uh, uh, of achievement over over that fact. So uh, I would ask everyone here to uh, help promote both the exhibition that's being held in this building and also the lecture. Uh, encourage your friends and relatives to attend both events.